morning everybody and welcome to another Free Rise Photography vlog and we are here today nice and early for an ERT. We are here to ride the beast behind us Hyperion, the Intamin Hypercoaster here at Energylandia. Dan, Yes, mate. nice and early. Yeah. So basically we're going to be doing some filming for the park again today and some filming for the channel. Yeah. We? So yeah. really looking forward to this. So thank you again to the park for allowing us to um, to get into the park nice and early uh, while it's still closed. So, um, to literally just get in there and uh, ride the coaster first of all yeah. but also hopefully get some really fantastic footage that we can use over and over not for ourselves and for the park as for well. The park too yeah it's good because you don't normally get to take your cameras and that into the actual station no. so you know you need to get photos of stuff you don't normally get access to so definitely yeah looking forward to it can't wait to get yeah i mean it's it. a, a fantastic park uh, with some fantastic coasters we did exactly. zonja yesterday and uh, Vissos yesterday and then to have this as well today it's just an icing on the paper oh, brilliant. It? So, yeah. so we're going to show you yeah. inside with the park completely dead no one around apart from the staff members and then show you actually inside the station probably see a little bit of us setting up the uh, the mounts uh, see us uh, the train setting off from the station as well yeah, yeah. Of everything. yeah definitely but that's it let's get in there we're going to go and meet the media team now and get straight on a Hyperion Wow, what an absolutely fantastic morning that we've had here so far. Dan, how was that? Incredible. It was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, just to be in the station and no one else there and just being able to see the console. Yeah. We know exactly how many dispatches it's had. Since uh, opening as well. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, brilliant. Really got some good footage, which hopefully we'll be able to get into this video as well. But yeah, it, it's been uh, like a little dream, hasn't it? Like yeah, coming in, no one being here. Uh, just being allowed to kind of just do whatever we wanted to in terms of just getting uh, the right videos um, for the park. So yeah, really good. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's going around on the ride and everyone's just stood at the front of the yeah. park waiting to get in. Giving us a wave. Just, just wave. Of our lives. Yeah. And uh, what's just also good as well um, is that they actually put the smoke uh, and the countdown on. Um, so they, they've taken that off because of the dispatch taking too long. Um, but they put it on yeah. for us just to get the video effects as well for them. So get the um, experience. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, really brilliant. Really good. I'm re really uh, pleased uh, that we kind of uh, set up um, this kind of contract with them to be able to get what yeah. we can do in terms of media yeah, as well. Get some other rides done over the next few years with them as well. Definitely. Like new areas and things. It'd be great to get. Yeah. Some, uh, so yeah, they, they'll let us know what they want, and then yeah, we'll pop over and just get it done for them, won't we? So exactly, mate. Well, yeah, we are now in the park, opening hours now. Uh, we're on our way over uh, to, to... Sasha. Of course, we would be. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there was another media team here today. We, we think it was like a television thing this morning. Uh, so they were over there doing that one while we were over there doing uh, Hyperion. Uh, so yeah, we'll do a little bit more different things today. We'll get on some of the smaller rides, uh, some of the kind of the dark rides that they've got here as well. Uh, just something a bit different, uh, instead of just doing the same old uh, Zanja Hyperion, Zanja Formula and stuff like that. We're on our way under the bridge now and something different as well that we've spotted is 
uh, the uh, Alton Tower music has now stopped. Also, the Pirate of the Caribbean music has also been stopped as well. It's which uh, he's gone. Uh, which we believe it could be something to do with obviously the park just getting a little bit more uh, commercial base themselves uh, and not kind of just trying to find music that they could find. Um, even though we do uh, say that the uh, Alton Town music is the Alton Town music, it actually isn't, but obviously it would be copyrighted at some point. Um, but yeah, this is the way. I think they've done a better way of kind of showing you what, what areas you're going to now with the banners does look a lot better a lot more better feel and obviously then when the sweet valley area opens up there'll be another kind of banner as well that states that as well but yeah much better a nice empty park so far no one heading their way over this way at the moment but a fantastic wonder wheel a great investment for the park uh, one of the surveys that they put out is what attractions would you like to see next and a lot of them came back with this which is good um, so yeah, not a big thing for like, enthusiasts, but obviously the older generation coming here can obviously just take a nice little walk over to here and get on there. But yeah, you got zero minute waits if you wait at the moment. The Vacoma runaway mine train there, still got the theming to go up around that bit as well there. But yes, quite quiet. Aquilantis area. Towards this way as well. But the magic gate should be open this morning to allow us to get a few rides on the RMC before too many people get over here. But it just looks like it's going to be a quiet day today. Weather's not on the full side of the park today in terms of it being a bit cloudier. It was raining this morning but has stopped, which is the perfect time. But weather report said it was going to uh, rain all day uh, and obviously clearly see that you can't trust the weather so here we go it is time to ride Zandra the RMC coaster after a few rides there on Zandra I am now off the train and leaving Georgina and Dan to carry on their day well, carry on their ride, shall we say. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is, they are getting married next year. Congratulations, it'll probably be coming, this edit will probably be coming out the same time as your wedding, if I'm, like I normally are. But no, what I'm going to do is, we've got some uh, pictures from the actual ride itself on the ride using the filming. And what I want to do now is actually get some off-ride photos of them actually on the ride. So I'm going to head over to where the first drop is, and then the return before going into the stall. Uh, to hopefully get some pictures they can use for their wedding. Um, so yeah, looking forward to uh, getting some of these. We did it last year when my brother Andy came for the first time. Um, so yeah, come out really nice. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna get the camera set up and get some photos of them. And uh, yeah, we're going to present them at the wedding. That'd be great, wouldn't it? There we go, our ride there on Zandra. Dan, how was it? Four rides, not one ride, four rides in the space of like 20 minutes. Brilliant, super, super, super coaster. Get out here and ride it. The park again, it's dead today. They need support. They keep investing in all these new rides and big areas. But look, literally like nothing. I want it. Crazy, really. And if you price up a, a hotel stay at uh, some local UK parks, and then how much it costs flat air with Ryanair and a high car, it's cheaper just to come here. Yeah, definitely. And you get so much done in a day. You could easily fly here first thing in the morning, get a late flight home, and you'd still do most of the park in a day. Yeah. So you wouldn't even need to factor in a hotel stay. Definitely. Um, but definitely, if you can get out here for two or three days, just, just get it booked, it's brilliant. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So now, as promised, we're gonna show you, uh, if you are gonna come here with a family, uh, we're going to show you what is available. This is the first one. So we're in the Aquilantis area at the moment. Uh, so we've got submarine dive. Uh, and this is number 1080. So this is a minimum of one meter ride, uh, 1.2 if you want to go on your own. Uh, but yeah, this is just literally just a small uh, kind of little uh, kind of boat, kind of simul 
ride here boats. just goes up and down. Spaceships, boats. Well, Space considering ships. Cooper, it's called Submarine Dive. Yeah. Um, they're probably submarine. submarine. OK, we'll have that. But yeah, nice little ride. <laughs> In terms of weight for this, there's literally no one waiting at all. This is this thing that we just can't understand. It is a, around kids stuff. It just literally is dead, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it's, it's perfect, though, because like uh, children are like got like disabilities and things if you if you don't want to be waiting around in half an hour queues and a 40 minute rat pass queue just come here yeah. you'll be straight on and definitely cycle lamps but there's loads here we're going to show you some other hidden gems yeah definitely here. so you've got a uh, twister as well which is actually a 1.4 um but it's like a disco uh it's like right the minimum uh height there is 1.4 as well uh, you can just see it coming over just here now but yeah, quite nicely themed now. It's got a little bit more work done to it than it did last time. But yeah, that's so that's two just in the vicinity here, and we'll carry on round. Let's go, we've got another one. So this is actually like a boat ride uh, where you do go through uh, on a water boat. Uh, so minimum of 1.2 meter ride here. Uh, but you obviously with um, you can get on with smaller with children. Um, so yeah, the Grosso exhibition. Uh, and then again, literally, there's no one uh, so waiting. It's, I think that's up to an age, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. yeah so two you've got to two years old if, um, with a guardian. Yeah, it's brilliant though, just to chill out on and just yeah. see the. Yeah, you get some really good pictures and stuff on the park and a bit of views there as well. Uh, but yeah, again, literally, no one here, literally at all. So yeah, this is another one. Here's another look at the boat ride, this is what I was just talking about. So yeah, quite a nice little relaxed kind of ride to go around on here in the Aquilantis area. And no one on it, it's just crazy. So with the mighty Zanja in the background just there, you've got Little Explorers. Uh, so you have to go over this crazy little bridge here. So this is a 1.2 ride a minimum, or a one metre ride if you are with an adult. Um, but yeah, that is Light and Explorer, which is just a boomerang. A um, little bit of a custom layout on this one, but yeah, that is a little Explorer. But yeah, there's Zandra going over the top there, going right down. Beautiful timing. And then you've got the water area. Well, this is an interactive water area. Um, so you can just pump your water from the top there, um, pull it through, and then you literally can follow it down, and it goes right the way down here. This is number 182 attraction so yeah a bit different and uh, yeah just keeps people playing around kids absolutely love it don't they well especially if they're waiting for you to go on like the bigger rides in the area like abyssus so definitely one of the parents can just stand there and something to do with the kids yeah definitely so yeah great little uh, little kind of thing to do while waiting for little explorers so we talk about this a lot, so Abyssos um, is actually a 1.2 metre ride. Um, so yeah, obviously without an adult, uh, 1.4. Uh, but what I do like is this little, these little kind of signs that they add on there now, which shows you if it's a lap bar or over the uh, straight. Really do like that. What is good, uh, I said it's a 1.2 ride, so it's probably one of the highest inversion rates that you could probably get. Um, in terms of a 1.2 meter ride. Yeah, isn't I it? mean, I wouldn't be put, unless I've done some serious other coasters, I wouldn't be putting a 1.2 straight onto this. I'd put Jake on this. He's done Ride of Happiness. Ride to Happiness. Yeah, yeah, but he's built up, hasn't he? Yeah. If, if you just chuck a little kid on this straight away, that's yeah. harsh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, again, uh, like I said, there's not much people around, so we're going to go and carry on. But again, this is just the Aquilantis area. We, we, we haven't even got anywhere near the front, which is originally the. Uh, the park, uh, you know, the kind of the built up area for families, it's crazy. Look at this little beauty as well on here, look at that. Look at these donuts, wow, look at them. Donuts in Nutella, Dan. You'd love a bit of donut and Nutella. Oh, I'm craving a Mr. Whippy at the moment. Maybe get one. Okay, one. so we're coming up to the next one, which is the water fight. Uh, and this is a 1.4 if you are without an adult, if you are 1.2. Uh, so this is just literally a, um, you just turn the little knob area there and uh, yeah, just squirt water. I believe we've got one of these uh, Blackpool, uh, which is, uh, I can't remember, in the kids area, isn't it, as well. Good fun this is, because it's not just the people around 
people on the ride, there's people around it as well, and it uh, gets a bit wet on this one. So, yeah, definitely. Not really uh, for this today, though. It's definitely not. And uh, Georgina definitely doesn't like uh, getting wet. And also, I've just spotted, let's see if I can zoom in, because uh, my panning's not the best. Some work being done over the back with a nice. There we go, look at that, some work being done there. Look at that. So even now, still doing loads of work. Yeah. And the park. You get a good view from into the back area, Sweet Valley from around here as well, don't you? But yeah, so again, another attraction. And then we're just gonna move over to the Magic Pump, Dan, your favorite from last time. Oh yes, not the Magic Pump. So Dan has been on this one before, so it's the Magic Pump. And this is a one metre ride uh, or with an adult or 1.2 uh, if you're not. And it is like a cycle ride, so you just cycle away uh, as you kind of go around. But again, just no literally one no one around at all. <laughs> literally just no one, it's, it's crazy. It's just unbelievable. Every time we come here, we say the same thing, but it's just, it's just crazy. It really is. Yeah, so that is all the little rides in this area. Pretty much, yeah. There's a um a lot more family areas towards the front of the yeah. park, which we'll cover in a little while. Uh, but uh, yeah, so far. But yeah, for a new area, you know, to continue to still put all these children's rides in, it's brilliant. You know, it gives someone something to do in every area, doesn't it? So, Definitely. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's really good. I'll bring you some shots yeah, of Abyssos going around, but they have now evacuated the queue line. So there we go. No more Abyssos this trip, unfortunately, because I doubt we're going to be walking back down this end of the park. It's good that we got on the front row. See, I'd rather ride Tarragon than this. Yeah, definitely. So another one, Stormy Ship. So this is a 1.1 with a minimum to go on this one, or 1.4 with an adult. And this is just your straightforward backwards and forwards uh, kind of ride. I'll go around this other side so you can see it a little bit better. You'll be waiting a long time for this at Legoland. Little places like that, but it is literally just walk on for this one. And to complete the children's ride here in the Aqualantis area, we have got this, which is the engine, burning engine ride, which is basically just like a water ride where you put out the fire and then the lights interact with the actual ride as it's going round. And then to finish it off, like I said, no queue there. And we've got a, a nice little view there of the landscape garden that's over to around them. And then a light explorers right there with Vistos in the background. But yeah, so much to offer just in this little bit alone. And uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've literally just at the back of the park. So off-ride footage there of Frida, which is a one metre ride. It's a great little coaster actually for people to get onto. This is a two lap special. Uh, minimum of two, uh, 1.2 meter if you are going on without an adult. Uh, but look at that, one meter there, or 1.2 uh, without Frida on a zero minute wait at the moment as they're just walking into the station. Way! So we buy Zandra area and uh, yeah this is the dragon ride Fago and it is you have to be 2 to 13 years old uh, with an adult here or minimum height to ride without is 1.3 uh, or maximum height on this one uh, 1.95 so yeah 1.95 on that one but yeah this is just behind so as you just look through here great little opportunity uh, why parents or older people are going on this uh, you know, the kids can just have a play around. There we go. Not one of them has got their arms in the air, that is scandalous. There it goes. No, oh, they have no. Smashing it in the back, there they are. Uh, but yeah, this is the, uh, another children's ride. We'll carry on around to another coaster. Oh, and this is the coaster just in front of Zandra there. And this is Drake. Uh, this is a one meter ride as well. So again, just next to the Dragon uh, Carousel, just around the corner. 
a two lap special on this one, uh, which is great. And uh, yeah, it's uh, obviously kids can ride on their own on this one, as you can see there. So, but great, uh, great little coaster to be fair this one loads of fun and you've probably seen us in the vlogs previously to this one uh, riding this ride uh, that was a great great fun in it when we came last time but yeah another coaster and that nearly completes the area uh, just this side of the park uh, just a few little bits to show you in a second one of them being the dragon ride as you just leap the park itself The Zardra area, Smogsy Grog, um, a really nice little playroom. It's nice and quiet. You've got a kettle, sterilizer, microwave, high chairs, soft play, a huge sort of changing area. Brilliant. Um, I mean, we've got Harry's, um, got additional needs, an area like this is perfect. There's just a, a room that everyone would just walk past and not know that's here. So, as you come into the Smogsy Grog area, just on the right hand side, just outside the Zardra gift shop. Just literally there, and you've got, it's really colourful in here, and that's just what's really nice. And there's a feeding room in here, so... Feeding room. Uh, breastfeeding, you've got a nice room, nice and private. Lovely wallpaper. Yeah, right? definitely. Changing area. We've got, right, no one's in here at the moment, but yeah, little tra changing area, steps and that to get onto the toilet. Wow, look at that, it's good, isn't it? It's a really good idea. Brilliant. Great facility. Yeah, definitely. Nice bright colours. Be perfect, wouldn't it? Perfect for Harry. Yeah, brilliant. And I said that's just literally just as you go through here. No. There we go. Just by the Zandra shop there. So here's another ride for the children to go on, which is like the dragon ride. Uh, so this is a pedalong. Uh, Someone's doing it there with their hands, I don't think that's quite right, but yeah, pedal along and you can get to see some great views all the way around of this area here. Georgia actually wants to go on it, Cooper. Georgia wants to go on it? We'll go on it then, Georgia. Yeah, we'll on it. And then you've got Wonder Wheel, like I talked about earlier. But yeah, you've got this, which is a nice, like I said, nice ride. It takes you all the way around. Um, some fantastic views of this really immersive area which is great for winter with all the trees and that as well and that just takes us to the very end of this area here the smoggly Grog area so the swings have been moved from the front of the uh, park by Hyperion down to this area here a welcome addition to this side of the park with some nice little bit of seat in the here now just to get your little snacks and just sit on and also popcorn and cotton candy store as well unfortunately not open today not busy enough but yeah look at that cotton candy there and milkshake 14 polish latte there for a milkshake go yeah, not many people know about this one because it's slightly hidden but you've got the bumper cars in here which is a minimum of 1.2 meter ride off kind of uh, monsters and stuff like that um, there is not really much in terms of animatronics in there it is more like a painted kind of boards uh, ride uh, with the light and effects in there uh, but that is a minimum of 1.3 if you're not with an adult or if you are with an adult for age uh, for up to 12 uh, but yeah it's a fun ride to do and it's nice that they have got this dark ride here Oh. Hey! Oh. 
Here we go. Woo! Look at this. This is updated since I came here last. Oh, look at this. Elm Street there from Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, this is definitely different to the last time I came in here. Much better. Little black spots there, which you could have done a little bit more with. Maybe a jump, oh, it looks like there might have been jump scares at some point. Like the alien got shot in the heart, then. Yeah, this is good. Not bad at all. And I take it through like the. Uh, it looks like there is actual main characters that do actually come in here throughout the actual Halloween period. Really impressed with this. Obviously, them getting away from all the IPs, maybe this will be gone in the future. But yeah, Mater, or the look-alike of Mater, here at Energylandia. When you're here, try and find it. So you got a nice little junior log flume, which uh, Paul just couldn't resist getting on. They're no cue. Literally walk on. He's already in the boat, and he's such a baby. Here he comes, there he is. Unbelievable. Nice clear water. ride we've got it is a another water ride um, so I can actually go and show you this because there's a lovely little bridge here uh, minimum 1.4 for riding on your own you've got to be a minimum age of four to ride it with a parent um, but yeah we can just go up on this bridge again it's walk on there's absolutely no queue but it's a really good junior sort of baby rapids um, Nice little small one, you'll see a boat come around in a moment. Uh, they have got another bigger rapids, which is over near Speed Water Coaster. Uh, but yeah, just a far smaller um, water rapids here with a smaller boats. Great fun for the families. We have a rider here, which is Splash Battle. 
uh, which is 1.2 ride, 2 meters to ride, or 4 to 12 uh, with a Guardian. And uh, yeah, this is just literally just like the splash trestle ride that you can kind of see normally, uh, but just really colorful actually, which is really nice. A little bit different, here's a boat just coming through now. A little bit different in terms of the park itself, you know, in terms of just the coaster, coaster, coasters. There's so much more to do here at Energylandia than just rides and coasters. Water rides as well. We have stop play for Dan to go in a shower. <laughs> here he is. And then another little area, like I said, loads of different things that you can do here. And we, we just talk about the coasters quite a lot. There's a little uh, splash area for children, just literally, you know, they can just come here. The weather gets really warm here, so it's really nice to have these different variations of things to do. But yeah, look at that, that's really cool, doesn't it? Right, Dan, come on, get out. We've got some more rides to get on. I really do like these pencil fences that they've got here as well. Makes it so much nicer than just having the standard fences there. Look at that. Really easy to do this is actually. Uh, but yeah, you can literally just set all this up yourself, cut all these down and, and just paint the tops there. But yeah, look at that, really nice. Nice fence. Here we go, another look here. Our splash battle. Uh, yeah, so many rides here that they actually couldn't think of any more names for things. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. It's great, it just, it, it looks big, it looks yeah. nice, doesn't it, the landscaping? Really yeah, just, yeah, you know, fun. nice summer's day. This would be brilliant, it really would. Yeah, it's just splash battle, another ride here. Water ride, and you can get wet yeah, as well. So once you come through to the park, this will be one of the first coasters that you see, which is Ennis's. And uh, this is a 1.2 metre ride. If you are of an adult, you can ride as 1 metre up to 1.2. Uh, but yeah, fantastic ride actually. A two lap special on this one. Uh, but it's like I said, it's the first coaster that you presents to you as you actually come into the park. Uh, so worth getting on if you are at the start of the day or even later on towards the end where everyone else heads towards the back of the park. Uh, but yeah, fantastic little ride this is. Always one in there. <laughs> you just saw that we went on Toffee Log Flume and uh, wow what a log flume this is, it is fun uh, and hidden there's a little bit as well so make sure you get over to uh, the, the kind of the start of the park uh, towards the right hand side as you come through. So this is a 1.4 metre ride uh, log flume and you have to be all 6 to 13 with a guardian but yeah there is, uh, you do get a lot of air time if you're on the back of the log going down the drop. It is a rolling uh, kind of uh, drop at the end. It's a true drop special and uh, yeah, really fun actually, really great ride. And uh, got a little bit wet on there, which is good as well. So definitely does the job it needs to. Look on the toffee uh, water ride here. So yeah, you've got a second um, drop bit there. Look at that, nice little steep hey. one. And then like I said, this first little bit here is the first uh, drop. And then goes into your second one. Let's see if we can get them to fill down. Guys, they're trying to get past the thing. Well, look at the old milkshake brings to the boys to the yard. Look, waterfalls. No, get this old towers. Yeah. Yeah, look, watch this, look. Won't be long, guys. Look at the airtime, look. Look at this. Way, look at that. Great water ride there. A bottle of water. Here we go, we carry on our quest for junior rides. And here we go, we've got the Fruity Loop coaster here, which is a minimum of 1.2 meters. 
or if you are 4 to 12 years old you can go on as well and uh, yeah this is a kind of caterpillar old school caterpillar ride uh, that many people have probably been on over the years uh, so yeah number one to catch up on this is uh, to the entrance to the park as well so another one of the coasters that you would see straight away there <laughs> which is a minimum of 1.2 0 to 13 so anyone can actually go on this one that's brilliant so yeah for really young children and it's just literally just like a farm ride as you go around there they're yeah, looking good in there as well I have to say great bit of theming in there as you're going around but yeah really really good one really nice and bright for the children this one here we go we've got another one here we are struggling with this one so it is the super pompa Dan said it is apparently, so we'll go with that one. Thanks, Dan. Uh, so yeah, we got a minimum of 1.2 meter there, or two years old up to 30 years old for this one as well. And this is a really good one actually. So interactive. So you've got uh, squirters on there, and you put out the fires. So interactive, put out the fire as it's going round. Really good one. So a little bit the same as what's over the other side, uh, but in a smaller scale actually. And obviously, kids, smaller kids can go on it. Really nice one, nice and colourful again in this little area. A little bit of Fyman Sam up there as well. But yeah, good little ride, eh? Again, if you are coming here with a baby this time, uh, you can actually get on the carousel at 0 to 13 age limit here. You can go on without anybody or a minimum of 1.2. Beautiful carousel, actually. Two levels to this, so you've got the top level up there and then you've also got the bottom level. Beautiful, it really is in really good condition there. I reckon if you get on that one there, I reckon that will be a spinner. I reckon it's worth a go. Shall we have a blast on it? See how fast we can get spinning it? Let's get on it. Let's give it a try. Oh, it looks like Dan. Here we go! He's on it! Wee! Dan! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything, I seriously. I'm going though for it, Dan. <laughs> Dan! Dan! <laughs> but Dan, have we stopped yet? No! <laughs> 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 Dan, are we, are we actually moving? Because I can't see. Yes, we are still moving. Okay. <sighs> That's bad. I can't see anything. Why are we even on here? More intense than Hyperion. Yeah. Woo. Slow myself down now. That was unbelievable. Thanks, Dan, for the spin on there then. 
Uh, Jesus, that is crazy in terms of intense. Here we go then, here's another uh, ride for you. So it is the Arctic Fun, which is a minimum of 1.2, but you can go on with a Guardian. With uh, 2 to 13 years old. So yeah, good. You can't have swimwear on this one, but yeah, here it is, the slide. So another attraction here. So what you've got to be careful with, with this is Dan. So Dan is a little cheater, I have to say. And um, he does cheat a lot when it comes to racing. So let's watch this cheat as he then tries to get off quickly. <coughs> he did it before in the other vlog when we was in Toverland. Oh, was it Toverland? I think it was. Or Flopsaland, one of them. But yeah, cheating against Jake. A child, just to show. Oh, there we go. See, straight away, little cheat. <coughs> Same as Plopsaland, cheated again. Absolute cheat. There we go. Smashed it. Here we go. Some of the entertainment here at Energylandia. Where have we got the bubbles? Wow. on board so a great one for little ones really uh, some really good stuff on this one i have to say a uh, bit good fun ride uh, dan and george is on there at the moment she's loving it here we go this should be off now here they come We've got the beautiful high period in the back there let's have a look at them go around with spinning action going on there pretty much and that is happy loops so here's another one for you then wow how colorful is this one um, so looking at this there is actually no name for this one uh, we're going to call it the heli uh, aeroplanes uh, so yeah 1.5 is the maximum height on this and then 80 centimeters there for the smallest but yeah look at this one it's really cool really kind of a colourful ride and again there's no one going on it it's just crazy there we go with the energy landia music in the background they love a little bit look at that here we go energy landia 
such a good feel song that is. Here's another one, so this is Crazy Clouds. Uh, so this is a 1.2 if you're uh, kind of uh, too small, uh, or this is any age on this one as well, which is great. But yeah, look how they all look. Again, no one waiting for this one, uh, but yeah, if you are bringing children, there are so many options available for these children to go on to. Uh, and like I said, there is no weight on any of these. A bit between the carousel, horses there, cars, helicopter, and the bugs as well. Here we go, this is another one. This is Funny Cars, and this is a zero uh, age range upwards on this one. Uh, so yeah, a great one if children are coming of any age, you can just literally just get on there. I think it's just literally just a spinning one, which is great. But look at that, it looks really, really good. And like I said, zero uh, age limit there as well. And then the next one is the Crazy Bus, which is 1.2, and if you are two years old and upwards. And this is literally what you'd be waiting hours for at most parks. Yeah, look at that. Looks great off-ride as well. Look at that, really nice and colourful. Something I love about Energylandia. With the kids area, it's really nice and colourful. Uh, makes it really good. And as you can just see where we are at the moment, we're just by Speed's Lift Hill. There we go. Right up to the top there before making its way right the way down. But yeah, there we go, which is the crazy bus. There we go, this is the air show, which is just a little pirate rocking boat here. Uh, yeah, it looks really cool actually. Uh, so this is a age 2 to 13 upwards, which is a 1.2 metre ride if you're not. But like I said, look at that there. Really cool one for the little ones there. And such a long cycle there. Uh, but yeah, speed in the background as I just said. Uh, but yeah, look at that, the air show here, which is the number 87 attraction. So this one is the Circus Drift, which is zero, uh, two years old to 13 years old as well there. Uh, 1.2 meters if you're a minimum height there. Uh, but yeah, this one's really cool. Dan was just saying that you've got on here uh, guns on the actual rise and you shoot the targets as you're going round. Uh, but yeah, look at that. So it's a drift one, I believe, so you can go round um, as you're going round on there as well. The cars move. I think Dan should get on this one. Uh, I'll, I'll can get on there if you want, Dan. Yeah, and I'll film yeah. you. How about that? Right. I know you've got the targets on the back there, so you can shoot the targets on the back. I think that's really good. Let's give it a try, shall we? Just like the baby is, he's going on. The car ride. Annie, look at how happy he looks. Look at him. Such a baby. What do you think to it, Cooper? Really good. Oh, he's shooting us. Shoot the guns. Drift. So as they're moving the uh, wheels, they're drifting round. I mean, their driving couldn't get much worse at home, so this might give her a bit of practice. So yeah, plenty for the kids to do here, lots and lots. We're gonna, now going to go and do the uh, Mars coaster over there which is another great kids ride. Here we go, another coaster credit. The smallest one, which is the circus coaster. 1.2 and two years old to ride. Dan tries to get on this one, but unfortunately dispatch has already happened and he's missed out on it. It's Unlucky right. there. But yeah, we just had a nice little ride there on that cars ride. Fantastic actually, patent pending on that one, wasn't it? But yeah, so you shoot the targets and you, you kind of just go in and out uh, with the steering, didn't you? Quite enjoyed. Dan was well annoyed because he wasn't on it with us. 
literally just standing well, there like a lost puppy. The vlog now isn't going to make much sense because Cooper was like, look, let's come and get on this one. When I said we were going to go do the Mars coast, that's going to go do the Mars coast after this one. Yes. Just so. We need it to makes do sense. the smallest coaster on park. Yeah. So this is why we're going on this one. 10 lap special. How many do you reckon we get? 10? 10 laps. 10 laps. Are you happy with that? Yeah, she's happy with that. Makes a change. Yeah, she. Yeah, but anyway. She doesn't want to be on the vlog, Cooper, and you. You don't want to be on the vlog video? No. Oh, Hi. Right. You having a good day, though? Yes, Yeah, good. How was Hyperion? Hyperion? Well, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Dan? How was Hyperion? We got, so we got a feel the inside. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Good ride, yeah, really. Is. Hyperion is really good. What would you say in terms of front and back on that then? What on Hyperion? Yeah. Uh, front's good. Back's good. Back's good. Front's better. Yeah. Probably. Okay. I don't know. Oh, it's just. I'm so torn with that ride with front and back. Yeah. I would say front probably. Just. Just. The front. Just. I like the dangle air time you get. Yeah. Going down that drop. It's just such a good coaster. Here we go, we're up and now on. Here we go, Dan. Hello. Bag's not on ride on this one, Dan. You can put him in the station. Here we go. So we are on the smallest roller coaster in the park. We reckon we're about 10, 10 laps in with this one. A little bit of speed. So that's a little cheat. Uh, so in terms of uh, if you are around about six foot tall, uh, you uh, will not be able to get in the back back of this one because uh, there's an actual bit there where the coaster wheels. Uh, so it doesn't actually let you get on. Uh, so you have to go a little bit further down to the front. Looks like Georgina's enjoying this one. How many laps are on here, guys? Comment below if you know. <laughs> oh, he's slowing. Hey, there we go. We have to get on here, which is the Mars ride. 1.2, you have to be four years old to go on this one. Yeah, definitely worth a try. This will be our last one for Georgina to get her creds all in here. So let's get in. Dan likes this one. The Mars one. Let's get it. Double click. Here we go, airtime central. Woo! Shoo Not no, oh, for the smoothest of uh, lift hills there. Helix, 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 helix. Whoa! Brazil, you've got the Nürburgring, and they are nippy little things. Look at them go! Brilliant little 
how things these are, I have to say. These will probably be an upcharge in most parks, probably a pound, two pounds to go on, but included in the price here. You need to land here, look at them fly. Wow. Boy, oh, just smacked that one there, but yeah. Good little addition this one is. This one is actually next to the Mars coaster that we've just did there, guys. How was it? Well, it was bad, it was there. Like, them wheels just literally ram into the bottom of it, don't they? Yeah, it's a good big old diva. Again, it's capacity, it's... it's yeah, like the kids. definitely. I mean, it's not going to be most I mean, the, comfortable the, for a 6 The kids are on there now, we've been on there, like, what, is it three or four rides? Yeah, 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 not even getting off. Georgina, you don't want to be in the vlog, but how was it? Yeah, it's great. Good, good, I'm glad you're talking now. <laughs> um, she's been with us all this time. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's rude. good, isn't it? Really yeah, good. It's yeah, great really enjoyed area. that. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, pro probably one of the better ones out there, to be honest. So many little rides as well. It's across the whole park as well. So yeah, definitely. Even if you give the kids a couple of hours in this area and then you go over to Abyssus, there's still a little thing they can get on over there. Yeah. And you can still get on the bigger Same rides. Zardra definitely. Well. Yeah, Zardra, yeah. Zardra, kids there. area as well, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, yeah we've really got another little one over here as well to go with Troy. So Actually, got another sort of playroom slash sensory room. Just uh, through the door there, but there's some children in there, so we don't want to go inside and film. Uh, but yeah, it's another sort of breastfeeding area, a toy playroom, just a quieter zone for um, the families to go and just chill out in. Definitely, I mean, you know, as as, uh, as families, uh, you know, we've got families ourselves, it's really important to have these little rooms as well. Little Lego blocks here, so yeah, just look out for the Lego blocks, it's just there. Uh, but like I said, we don't want to go in there, just because just obviously there's children in there. Uh, but yeah, the next one for us is going to be the Jeep Safari. And look at this, this is really well done here. Um, so this is a 0 to one, uh, 13 year old. And then the minimum height there if you were is 1.2. Look at this, great little kind of uh, little Jeep areas. Uh, wow, look at that, nice little cars there, That's fantastic, yeah, we're going it. So here we go, we're on the Jeep Safari ride. Don't say that we don't entertain you guys and show you all the different things at the park. So, Dan, how is the Ed room? Yeah, not bad, six foot four, you wouldn't, yeah, I'd say I would get on with like Oliver. Yeah. yeah. You'd, you'd fit on if you were six Definitely. Maybe, to squeeze it. Yeah, lovely though. Yeah, some nice little kind of rhinos, anorexic rhinos. <laughs> Very anorexic. Uh, yeah, you got some. But yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm astounded really of how much there is. Yeah, it's good. I mean, we've come here lots now and, and to document this today to show us how many rides there are for families. Yeah. It's just, you know, you, you can't beat it, you really can't. And everything, no matter what ride you're going on, everything has got a camera. Yeah. Let's capture that moment. To capture the, the moment, definitely. I mean, we haven't even been over that bit yet, which has yeah. got another, like, few children's rides and yeah. that as well. The swings and that. Swings to go on, yeah, but so many variations. We've got, here we go, the Lion King. Hey! Ah, senor. But yeah, it is just, and what I love is if all the attendants like let you go on. Yeah. As well, they just, you know, they're more than happy to let you go on and we've now got to wait. I mean, this is probably the first time he's actually sent this today. Yeah. It's that quiet. We've now got to wait for like six other cars to go from the actual area now before we can get off. But yeah, enjoyed that. Good ride, that was. Good ride. Just gonna, sh here she is getting off as graceful as can be there. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. I enjoyed that, that was good. Was it? Oliver would like that. The Jeep Safari. So Get a little things here as well, a little photo. But yeah, really enjoyed that. Great ride there. For the children, there's the Mars Coaster. Look at the aliens on the top there. Uh, but yeah, that, the, we, you'd think that would be it now, but there is actually more to do. So let's carry on round. Here we go, we are also got a carousel here as well, swing. And it actually got water feature on it as well. Look at this. And this is a 1.3 ride here, but you've yeah, got the water there as well. Look at that, that interacts with the ride. They're like monkey swinger swings. But yeah, that's cool in it as well. It looks really good. Another rapid. So this is Atlantis, which is a 1.4 meters or with, uh, without an adult, or is a four-year-old to 12-year-old rapids. Um, Actually uh, fun rapids uh, this is, I have to say. Should we get on it, Dan? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, mate, but I've already filmed this one. 
there's that much here to do. We it's forgot. That we've already filmed it. But what we're going to do now, Dan, is actually get on it. Yeah, we might as well. Georgia, are you coming on? Georgia, are you getting on it? No, Georgia doesn't want to be in the vlog today. There she is. This is how big this wrap is. It's absolutely huge. It goes on for so long. Right the way at the movie back there, we're still going. As you go all the way around, you've still got it coming through here as well. Through the mouth, all the way around. But yeah, it's a huge child, uh, like children's rapids. And it's a fun one actually as well. You don't get wet, don't get me wrong, you do not get wet on this. Uh, but it's just fun, look at it, it's just great. So here we go, we're gonna actually get on this one. Dan's already mentioned it before, but this time we're actually gonna get on it. A lot of steps though on this one. We're waiting at the 10 minute queue just here now. And into the station. Let's get on it. The rail in, in time and then you end up going down here. Here we go then, Dan. It's, it's ever so strange, isn't it? The, uh, the, the actual the, thing, yeah, look. The rollers. Roll us straight into it. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, she. Oh! oh! She would not like this one, mate. Oh, she'd have been well annoyed. Especially with three of us on this, then. You don't remember me and Andy went on it? And he <laughs> literally nearly fell Cap over. Size. It's just nice, you get away from the bigger ride just to sit and yeah. relax. Yeah, that's the only thing that's missing is a bit of music. It's a bit yeah. eerie. Feels like it's like a closed down like yeah. water ride, isn't it? Like you shouldn't be on it. Yeah. We can put music over the top though. We could. And probably get copyrighted for it like normal. Yeah, Cooper, you'll get this. I'm getting this. Get, oh, come on, spin. Hey, Georgia. Hey, there she is. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh no! <laughs> hey, you spin me right round, baby, right round, like right, a record, baby, right round and out. It's good. Really good ride, isn't it? So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna cut you off now and uh, see what else we can find for the little kitties. So number thirteen attraction on the list: a little play park. Uh, just something to, you know, a little swing there uh, and a little climbing wall for kids. But yeah, it just, you know, kind of kills the time away. Um, you know, if you've got little kids as well, they don't want to go on any attractions, a uh, little park for them. I think we're nearly coming to the end of all the kids' rides here, so we'll wrap up in a bit in terms of how we feel around the, uh, the offering that they've got here. And it's your land, yeah? Here she is. Georgina doesn't want to be in the vlog. There she is asleep on the wall while we was on the ride of attractions there. Oh, look at her. Hope you're having a good sleep. Because oh, Daniel's son's coming to get ya. Here we go, so. 99 attraction which is the swiss water cup and that is a 1.2 uh, if you aren't without an adult and that is a 2 to 13 year old ride uh, and they that's just literally just like a little floating boat ride on there as well so really good attraction uh, really set, uh, kind of decorative when you're going around as well uh, a lot of stuff to see when you're going in there so yeah great ride through there go all the way up there and uh, up to the top but yeah 
no weights again for this one, but yeah, good little ride, I have to say. Really uh, enjoyed that when I went on there last time, and I reckon that is pretty much it for uh, all the kids' stuff. So let's go and uh, see if there's anything else that we can find. If not, we'll wrap it up. Here we go, we are looking at the last uh, coaster here which is Boomerang Roller Coaster, a minimum of 1.2 meters there. But if you are one meter to 1.2, you need to be with a Guardian. Uh, but yeah, this is a good little family uh, Boomerang actually. Um, I don't think it's my favorite on park. Uh, I actually do prefer the one over by um, Abyssos. Uh, it's the, I think that one actually is a better layout as yeah, well. Yeah, Light Explorers. Yeah, Light Explorers. I do actually prefer that one. Uh, but yeah, and then there's a little water ride, isn't there, down by the RMF coaster as well. Yeah, we're going to show you that now. Yeah, and then that will be kind of it, pretty much, in terms of uh, all the kids' kind of things in the park. Yeah. Here we go, we are on the final. This is the final kids' ride here at Energylandia, which is another splash battle, and we can see this commencing right here at the moment. So we've got two boats colliding against each other in a squirt off. Yes, that is correct, a squirt off there. And yeah, if you get it right, you can be on there for some time, but also get very wet as well. So, but yeah, that is it. I mean, you can't get any better, can you? I mean, look at this. Speed above, you've got the RMF coaster there, the 1.2 meter ride there. Um, and also Formula in the back, which is also the 1.2. So nice little 1.2 area just here. Uh, Formula being the first one uh, of the major coasters pretty much being here. Uh, but yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? It really does from here. Uh, you've got Mayer in the background there. Uh, and then you've also got in the drop tower over the back. But yeah, this is all of it in terms of the family park. So we'll wrap up in a bit in terms of what we feel uh, about the kind of park itself. But uh, yeah, Formula, great ride, some great transitions in there for 1.2, yeah, definitely. So in one of the shops, which is by the Scandinavia restaurant, you can actually buy wipes as well for babies and also pampers, some nappies if you do forget them, uh, little bottles there as well. Some dummies, some cream, which is fantastic. It's the first time I've actually been in here and seen this as well. Uh, deodorant there, if you forget it or need some. Uh, you've got Passit Moles, Ibuprofen tablets there as well. Uh, we've also got then the sanitary towels if you do need them or forget them at any point. And sunblock as well for the redheads with us. Hi. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think this is great, isn't it, actually? And it's worth noting that they're in the shops here and not actually in the toilets, like in the UK, where you get like the vending machines you would in normally, the toilets. You yeah. Um, but yeah, you can also just come in here and buy, buy them as you need them. Definitely, and uh, children's plast plasters and all that kind of stuff yeah. as well. But yeah, really worth noting, actually. So opposite the Scandinavia um, restaurant there, you can get all these little bits, and I think it's great that you can buy uh, single items as well, which is great, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Another little cool thing as well we've just noticed so if you buy one of these postcards keep smiling and have a nice day postcard let's just spin around as well the world is yours uh, and let's go let's go fun and then some just singular ones there as well of rides um, so if you actually get these you can post it pop it in the post box and they'll come and collect that and then get that sent to you. Look, you just pop that through there as well. Hey, look at that. It's a really good idea that is. And again, that is the same shop as outside of the Scandinavia uh, restaurant just there. Peter, I hope you've enjoyed the family uh, vlog to show you and showcase the uh, family rides that they've got here at Energylandia. Dan, what did you think, mate? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, definitely bring the little ones over. Uh, just waiting for Harry to get a little bit older. Yeah. He's only uh, just over one, so. Yeah, uh, there, a bit older, there was a few that he could do in there, but yeah, obviously, it's, you know, a little bit older. Yeah. Yeah, he's with a. Um, he's a little bit of the iron, bless him, so. Yeah. yeah. Get him a bit older, and then Oliver would love it here. I think so. Said next birthday, we'll bring him as a birthday treat. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, there's just so much to do, and like that. I mean, that's you know a decent amount of kind of rides, attractions that we've kind of showcased, isn't it? In I, this, I literally we come here what three, four times a year. I say exactly the same thing every time I leave. I always have a good day here. Yeah. Nothing ever goes majorly wrong. No. Nothing ever really winds me up. Definitely. And, uh, everything's always runs 
really smoothly here. Yeah, so Dan, value park. last question, is this the, one of the best family parks in the world then? Yeah, yeah, I think for what it is, yeah, for, for the price you pay, obviously you've got to exclude like all your Disneys and your Universals out of it. In Europe, like, for, the, for the money you pay to come here, I don't think you'll beat it as an all-inclusive park. Yeah, So yeah. definitely. That's brilliant. Right, Georgina, didn't want to be in the vlog, but I think you kind of did want to highlight a few things around for family attractions. Yeah. yeah it's been quite good, hasn't it? Yeah, no, obviously um, we, we went to Alton Towers earlier in the year as a family day and it was not the best, let's just leave it at that. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'd definitely like to get the boys out here. Like Dan said, wait for Harry to get a little bit bigger. He's, he's over such a little little one-year-old, so just more for his enjoyment. Yeah. Uh, we'll wait, probably wait an extra year to get, get the boys here, but th yeah, they'll love it. Definitely. Yeah. And then yeah. uh, in terms of the overall of Energy Landia, uh, we've kind of been a few times and left you at home looking after the children. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, do you, can you see the hype in terms of why we love Absolutely, this place? but yeah. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to come out here as easy now. No, I know how good it is here. Um, yeah. When I will be. Always, yeah. <laughs> when you guys are always are like, oh, let's go. But yeah, no, it's brilliant. It's it is. Brilliant. It's, 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 well it's worth the money. Well, it's, it's not even that expensive to get out here, really. Ryanair, just cheap, cheap to get over here. Definitely. Definitely worth paying that little bit extra and have a brilliant park to come to and enjoy your day. That's it. So we've probably done about over 100 rides of it, you know, kind of Easy. everything, haven't we? Yeah. While being here in two days. And we've sat and drank most of it. Yeah, eat and drink. We've you know we've been kind of having bit bits. No rush getting around. And that's you know. the thing, like because most rides, like you can just you know pretty much get on and like you know Alton Towers a few months ago, I literally got on one ride in what was it eight hours. Yeah. Um, wow. Whereas here you can take a bit of a more chilled approach because you know that whatever you're gonna walk up to, you can pretty much get on. Yeah. Um, with not much of a wait really. No. I mean, look at that. I mean, today, uh, the whole trip is we're probably 10 minutes wait. We've probably had yeah. the longest for something today, yeah. like the whole time. And, and yeah. then you've got to throw the water park in there. We haven't, you know, we haven't documented that. Look at it, didn't we? But obviously, it's not Yeah, the water park, yeah, would make a huge difference in terms of that as well. Yeah, yeah. So um, the end of May is when it fully opens. Yeah, so fully if you are thinking, yeah, get yourself here for that because uh, e yeah. even that's a day in itself, isn't it? Oh, Getting a day in the water park, definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's included in your ticket price as well. Which it is. Yeah. Brilliant, really. Yeah, and I, I will stick it out there. It is the best family because yes, you've got your Disney's. I don't think Disney's got as much attractions. If you class just one park out of the whole of them in terms of uh, the different variations of Disney, uh, and they haven't got a water park built into that um, area as well. They have a water park. Don't get me wrong, uh, but they haven't got it all included in there as well. But yeah, really enjoyed it. Look at these two. Look at these pretty enjoying there. Don't forget the body popping, guys. That's, that's it. That's it. For me. That's, that's it. For me. But yeah, but it's, yeah. it's showing you the running costs in there from the very front staff, the ticket office, security, all the car park attendants. You go all the way back to Abyssos, think how many hundreds of staff that this park is paying day in, day out. All your ride parts, all your maintenance staff, yeah. everything. This place is humongous. Definitely. People start coming in and supporting it, else it, it won't be a long term. And, and what I love as well is the, the generation of staff yes. as well. Yeah. You know, and People that just like shows it. it's a great park when you've got generations of staff here. Yes. And really enjoy what they do in the kids' area, don't they? They really yeah. enjoy like getting involved with the kids and that as well. Yeah. But yeah, enjoy it, Dan. Mate, always. Always. Can't wait to come to, back. Yeah. Finishing the, the last bit Throwing on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it, mate? Uh, yeah. But yeah, oh, last yeah. ride there on Hyperion before leaving, definitely worth it. Yeah, so, yeah, and it'd be great to come back and see the new area later in the year. Yeah. Might even come back another twice this year to see, see what the schedule's like with yeah. work and that. And um, Yeah, it'd be good to come back to the water park and just chill out and have another great few days. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, favourite ride of the trip? Oh, always torn between Hyperion and Zardra. What, what, in terms of the even our um, kind of ERTs and stuff as well? Oh, man, I'm torn. 50-50, I love them both. Yeah, so if you haven't seen it, have a look at the other vlogs where we actually did do a, uh, a ERTs and yeah. some on-ride filming, mounted on-ride filming. Uh, Georgina, favourite ride? Oh, it's going to be Zardra. Yeah. Stored my faith in RMC. Yay! Still Vengeance was not one for me. No. You can see the point, but yeah, no, definitely. Zardra. And. Uh, favourite actual ride itself in terms of the whole of the time you were here? My favourite ride completely? Yeah. 
Was it like the, um, the only ride with you on it on Zanja, or was it this morning on Hyperion? Hyperion is brilliant. Yeah. I really do enjoy Hyperion. Yeah. But um, for me, I think it would probably be Zanja. Yeah. I do enjoy it. Yeah, it's very definitely. Good. Uh, guys, thanks for inviting me along. I was the tripod to your little thing to that uh, on this trip, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. So thanks for inviting me. Never, never again, Cooper. Never right again. He's getting an old man, guys. I am, yeah. Really appreciate what he does because it ain't gonna last many more years. Oh, That's when we're dragging him along like this. I need, I need a wheelchair Try soon, guys. I need a wheelchair. Training Jake's up. But yeah, that's it. Uh, for me, I would probably say the Zandra, getting on Zandra um, and getting it literally a mounted POV, backwards POV for us on there uh, was probably the highlight. And being on that train as well uh, was really good. And then also um, being the uh, only three people on the train with Georgina and Dan at the front and me right at the very back was just that weird feeling. It really was strange. Going over the top of the lift hill and they were gone and I was still going up the lift hill. It was on just so <laughs> strange. So yeah, on my own. Um, but that's it guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the park for inviting us over uh, for the media bits as well thanks for the free gifts that you've given us uh, throughout this as well thank you to the media team and all the staff that have helped us out this entire trip to get the footage that we have for you guys thank you so much for watching and we'll catch, catch your ass down, down the road, road. bye